Hi guys, welcome to True Timber, and today I'm going to be reviewing Trench. I think Trench is a really, really brilliant album. It's that iconic Tony One Pilots mashup of absolutely everything. You've got tracks like Pet Cheetah that are like not aggressive rap, but are really sort of rappy and hip hoppy almost. And then you've got tracks like Smithereens that are it's just, you know, a happy ukulele love song. I really love that mix of songs on the album. So I'm not going to talk too much about the songs that are already out because we've all already heard them. So there's not really much point in reviewing them. But it was really interesting to see where they fit into the storyline of Trench. I think that for those people who said that the new songs didn't have any lyrical value or weren't as moving as other Tony One Pilots songs from the older album. I think now that's changed. It's kind of fit into place now. One of my favourites on the album had to be Neon Gravestones. I'd seen about it on Twitter from people who had listened to the leak and I was worried because so many people were like, this will make you cry. I stayed up until midnight to listen to Trench. And when it's, you know, half past midnight and you're tired and a song like Neon Gravestones comes on, it hits you hard. I didn't cry, but it was really, really close. The song is slow. I mean, from the very start, I was like, oh no, this is going to get me because it was started with like a slow piano and then it hits you with the vocals and it's just such a sad song. The lyrics are sad, the music's sad, Tyler's voice is sad, but he still has that power to hit you. And I think a lot of fans will be relieved by that. But Neon Gravestones, to me, what I thought in my lobby ride. For me, it's talking about all these celebrity deaths and how once people die, they're glorified a lot more than when they're alive. And I think it's Tyler's view on that as someone inside that circle. And it just got me, especially at the end where he was like, if I, if I give in or if I go, we're not, we shouldn't mourn him, we should just move on. And that, that was sad. It's kind of sad to know that he thought about that in that year off. And for me, it just shows why they needed that time off. If Tyler was having those thoughts and touring around the world non-stop, no breaks, you know, he might not have Jenna there with him all the time. I think that's a sad place to be in, in a really difficult position. One of my favourite tracks on the album has to be Smithereens. It almost doesn't fit on the album, it's so jumpy and happy and kind of like that old stuff it really for me stands out on the whole album as that one track that's really happy and it's for Jenna and I just think it's the most adorable track on there and I think Tyler's voice really reminded me of like old Tyler like no pun intended Tyler and I really liked that it was nice to see him go back to that style and vocally, I think he has returned to that older stuff. He has returned to original at best and to the self-titled album and to No Pun Intended, where his voice really plays around. He kind of jumps up, jumps down. He puts so much emotion into his voice and it's really, really clear on this album, like it is on the other, the older ones. So for me, Smithereens was really great really happy. I could, you know, see a lot of people, a lot of couples falling in love with that song. Similar to Smithereens is Legend, a song that is about his granddad and it's one of those songs, like on Blurry Face, and like on a lot of their albums actually, where on the outside it presents itself as so happy and upbeat and woo, and on the inside the lyrics are pretty sad. It's about him not being able to deal with his grandfather's declining health and then how he kind of dealt with that 
for him not going to see him, but he made the song for him. And I think that's that's really sweet that you can really see how Tyler deals with his emotions. Something's happening, he puts it in a song. And I think it's really nice that that made it onto the album, like a little ode to his granddad and a sign for all those people who maybe aren't great at confronting their emotions head on, that there is something out there that you can channel your emotions through. And I think that's really sweet that he said that to everyone. You know, this album isn't, it's not like no pun intended where he probably thought no one's gonna listen to it. Now he has, he should have that expectation that hundreds, thousands of people are gonna listen to this. And I think that it's really great that all these things, he's not ashamed to talk about them. He might be scared to talk about them, he's scared to show us, but he's not ashamed to leave it on there anyway. Another really great one was Bandito. I wasn't expecting it to be what it was. I thought it would be a really upbeat, happy, like dance song. Or maybe like a bit like Car Radio, where it has that, that thing. It doesn't really have that moment where you're like, oh, that bit will be great live. Oh, I can't wait to see what he does with that section of that song. It's really chilled, kind of sad again. And the standout part through all of it is Tyler's vocals, which by the way, are amazing. Like, when I listened to the first, I don't know, three or four lines, I had to pause it, take a moment to collect myself, because his vocals blew me away. I think one of the things I was worried about after listening to the first like half of the album, I was kind of scared that Tyler was just going to rap for the whole thing. Not that he's a bad rapper, but I just really like his singing voice. This is one of the tracks that for me deals mostly with Trench. He talks about how he created this world, and sort of the power of that. And I think he's talking about his fans. So he's talking about how he created the world, his fans, his power, but not so much like some of the other sad songs that are about the outside. This is a very insular sad song. He does that thing that he does where he puts things in that we're all gonna pick apart, like that solar fin felina. What does that mean? Well, I've seen some really interesting theories. My favourite one so far being that Solar is to expose and Felina is, someone said it took you, it takes you to a website that is about expressing emotions and art, artistic passion or something like that. So he's saying, you know, express your passion. That was really interesting, a really interesting theory and I'm really happy to see that literally we've only just got the album and there's already band theories going around so I can't wait to see what else we pick apart and what else we discover sort of hidden away on the album. I will say sadly I did not love all of the album. There was only one song that I could not get behind and that was Cut My Lip. Now this is a completely personal decision. Like, I'm not saying that it's an awful song. It just wasn't for me, and that's fine. I don't think it takes away from the value of the album. I don't think that one song ruins it from being like a five star album to three stars. I think the album is a five star brilliant album. There was just one track on it that I didn't like. You might love it, I don't know. I don't want to colour your opinion of the track, but for me, it wasn't that great. I'm not writing it off forever. I'm just saying for now, not a track I really enjoy. So the track Pet Cheetah, the title for me was interesting. It was one of the ones on the album that I was particularly looking forward to listening to. From Twitter, I was like, yeah, I want to cry to Neon Gravestones and more and then judging just on the title pet cheetah who wouldn't want to listen to a song called pet cheetah how on earth does that fit into trench the track itself not at all what i expected i don't know what i was expecting bearing in mind that the song is called pet cheetah that doesn't really give you any idea about the song just that it's going to be weird and it was it was weird it was completely different from everything else on there, I'd say. More like hardcore rap 
kind of a bit like levitate, but levitate softer, but also harder. Does that make sense? I think it just has everything that's great. It's really catchy and it's got a really awesome beat and it's just a really good track. Can we talk about the fact that he calls his cheetah Jason Statham? Can we talk about that? If anyone knows why, can you please tell me in the comments because I'm lost. One of the weirdest parts of Pet Cheetah for me was the end where I sat there like what on earth is happening? Because he just starts chanting Pet Cheetah, Cheetah, Pet Cheetah, Cheetah. In my head I was picturing all of us at the concerts chanting like some weird cult because people already think we're a cult and this is just gonna top it all off. All of us chanting Pet Cheetah, Cheetah, Pet Cheetah, Cheetah. I mean Tyler is taking our weirdness levels off the charts right now. Sorry for me, it was really funky and really vibey and really it draws you in and then the lyrics are really kind of sad when you, when you look at them. I found the chorus really great. I love the bit when he sings Run For My Life. I also love how Amazon Music's put it in the, in the lyrics. That brings me a lot of joy. But I think the track is really great, kind of sad. Like a lot of songs in this album, it does kind of make you worry about Tyler a little bit. But it's hard to tell where the character starts and where Tyler begins. Like how much of this is adding emotion and drama to Trench and how much of it is this was Tyler in that moment. Because you've got to remember, he is writing a story now. Not all of the songs relate to him. For now, I think we're never really going to know how much is actually Tyler's feelings. I think we should all just love him and people need to chill out a little bit and let them live. And that's the thesis. I'm gonna end with the final track of the album, Leave the City. I was surprised that it chilled out as much as it did. The album starts on such a high and you have peaks and troughs throughout. And I was surprised that it would finish on such a low note, like quite, quite literally a low note. And I thought that was an interesting end. Tyler in the Beats 1 interview said that this track is ambiguous. It's what we want it to be. And I like that. He hasn't said what the story is. It's up to us to find the story in there. Obviously there's the music videos that kind of guide you, sort of give you key points throughout the album but you're the ones who have to fill in the blanks i think this track really speaks to us there's a part where he says i'm in trench although i'm far from home in trench i'm not alone and i think he's talking to us there we're there with him we're struggling through all the things that trench stands for we're struggling through those things too we're fighting to do things and he's talking to us he's talking about himself he's talking about his journey he's talking about how we can't know what's going to happen next he can't end the story the story is everything it's developing the story is our lives the story is what happens next for us the story is fighting your depression your anxiety and even though you could say I've beaten my anxiety. You might have found a really great way to deal with it. That doesn't mean in a week, a month, a year, three years, it won't come back. So you can't ever really end the story. And I think that's what it's about. You don't know what's going to happen in the city. I want to know what you guys thought of the album. So make sure you comment below and tell me your thoughts. Let me know if you think I said something horribly wrong. If you hated something I loved, if you loved something that I hated, which can only be cut my lip, let me know the theories you have about the album, about what it means, and make sure you like and subscribe so that you can see all the videos I post, not just Tony on Pilots, but a bit of everything. And if there's anyone that you want me to talk about, any songs, any albums, any just general artists, let me know in the comments and I'll try my hardest to make a video about them. Thank you so much for watching.
hope you enjoyed. Welcome to Trench, I guess. Bye, guys.